Jensen. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. be guarded 24 7 you hear me i hear you man that rocket launcher is sweet just my little surprise for the mcb <clears throat> Damn it, nothing here. 
Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. You identified the shipment completely unnoticed, and my guys got their hands on Double T. Awesome job. What else you got? I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. My god, Jensen. With all you've uncovered, you've probably provided us with months of legal investigation. What's next? You're gonna tell me you've found proof he's got free satellite TV? No, that about covers it. Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. Satisfaction guaranteed, or you get another try. Free.
Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. You play a dangerous game, O'Malley. Manipulating people, killing them. What's happening here shouldn't come as a surprise. It's an inevitable consequence. In the end, it seems you and I aren't so different, Mr. Jensen. You too seem to consider this world only through cold, hard facts. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. I'm listening. I don't resent you for what you did. You played your cards and alliances well, and it's something I can respect. Still, it doesn't mean that I accept defeat. I'm willing to transfer to you a rather enviable sum in exchange for my freedom. I don't think so. No more games. You're going down. So be it. So, what happened? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? <laughs> good luck with... Well... Whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. You did a good thing, Jensen. Once a good cop, always a good cop, huh? <laughs>